Good to see you. Yeah. Too. Nice to finally meet I you know, in, in person. person. It's crazy. Oh, great job tonight, of course. Thank you. You always give what the fans expect of you, which is spectacular digs, but extremely technical volleyball. I was studying some video of you because I yeah. just, there's two liberos I study for like my own insights, you and Grabenikov, very different styles, both very successful. I noticed that you don't use the split step, which is kind of trending right now. Like you're very still, kind of, I would say like you're kind of more classical volleyball with like, a, like a, uh, a modern twist. Is that me just looking at a few, like cherry picking clips or do you have a different way of being stable before passing? It's probably a little bit of cherry picking to okay. be honest. I think on jump serves, I have a tendency to do it. Okay. And then on floats, I'm not quite as split steppy as uh, maybe other people. Okay. So to be quite honest, it's something that comes a little bit more naturally to me. I don't. I don't really work on it per uh, se. Okay. Um, I used to be a tennis player and that was I something remember, that we yeah. worked on yeah. and like learned at a very young age and that okay. just kind of translated. So for me, a split step, it's, it's, I don't know, it's something I do and it's something that I actually try to limit, especially in defense because I'm a little bit too mobile sometimes. Uh. But I don't know, I would take a look again. I don't know, I, I honestly don't know if I do it or not on some of these on some of these passes, yeah. I think I've been watching the the Poland practice clips, which are really great. Like where it's you and the other outside are just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I do see you do it sometimes. So, um, sorry to interrupt. That's no, okay. When we're doing ball machine passing, so a lot of the clips I post are from like this machine that's just serving at us. Yeah. I don't do a split set because it's, uh, it's hard to time. Okay, So I don't necessarily know when the coach is gonna put the ball in got or... It. Sometimes he misses and it like doesn't come for a couple seconds kind okay. of thing. So in that kind of ball machine passing for me is a little bit more upper body focus uh, versus the footwork or the legs because it's it. just a bomb coming at you. Yeah. I think if it's like a real serve, I have a more tendency to do a split step. Got it. Thanks for clarifying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people ask all the time. Yeah. So ball machine, it's like I, I just try to be there and, and take the ball and mm -hmm. real serves, I'll try to be a little bit more mobile. Okay. Uh, second question I have is like when you're preparing defensively, everyone talks about the scouting report for the hitters and blockers and what they want to serve, but not a lot of people talk about like how do you prepare defensively, like against Cuba, Bulgaria, like does that affect where you start transitionally? Do you focus on some hitters, prioritized ones? Like how does that work when you're preparing for defense? Yeah, I mean it's very much a scouting report. So we have a general starting spot mm -hmm. on defense. Um, that actually varies depending on the team. And then, you know, it's all scouting reports. So yeah. where guys have a lot of tendencies, we have, we obviously have a lot of data yeah. on different players. So defense, it's a lot about scouting report, a little bit about just effort and willing to take the ball. And yeah. then a little bit, even if you're in the wrong spot, spot, just being still and trying to make a move there. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Last question real quick. So I asked Micah, the other guy from Hawaii, uh, my wife and I, we go to Oahu every year for our anniversary. That's where I saw your dad. Yes. But be, you've been in two very cold places, Russia and now Poland, which congratulations on back to back. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you guys have fun. shown like time and time again, like your guys' style of volleyball in Poland is like what is working right now. Yeah. Just, it's not all about just the power, but it's, 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 it's teamwork. I think you've talked a lot about how the organization, kind of like the Warriors, yeah. have built the team. For sure. Not just like, Kind of standard Italian style. It's like, well, let's see if we can hire this gun and that yeah. gun, and then move on. I mean, pro volleyball is really interesting, right? There's so much talent out there. It's yeah. it's kind of how you can find the right talent in the right moment in the right club. It's yeah. just all these different factors that add up, add up, and we could see that in in Poland this year and in Champions League. Yeah. Um, two Polish teams in the final of the Champions amazing. League. So yeah, it's it's always a wild card who you hire. You, you, obviously, there's some amazing play, players out there, but. Given the right circumstance, situation, you just never know, and it's a gamble for everyone. For sure. So, what do you crave? Like in the coldest day, when Ooh. all you had is just Polish food, and you're like, yeah. "My mom just mailed this for me from Oahu." What would you teleport to Oahu? From Oahu to Poland. Well, my mom wouldn't make it necessarily, but just a good poke bowl, a good like simple sushi dinner. Okay. Some some tempura probably. Oh, Any all things Asian, yeah. I'll eat. When I go home, I eat all Asian, uh -huh. pretty much. So, I'm gonna go with a spicy ahi poke bowl. Simple. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. All right, thanks all right. so much, yeah. Eric. Thank you, good to see you. You good too, to you. you too. Good luck this weekend. Thank you,